Today's adventure takes us to Aberdeen, Washington, a town most notably known for being the birthplace and neighborhood of Nirvana leader Kurt Cobain. The first stop is Kurt's childhood home at 1210 East 1st Street. This is where he would spend the first nine years of his life. And after moving from relative to relative, he would come back to this house during his teenage years. Our next stop, Kurt Cobain Landing, is just two blocks down from Kurt's childhood home. The Memorial Park is located right next to the Young Street Bridge on the banks of the Wishkaw River, which is also, if you remember, was the name of Nirvana's album, Live from the Muddy Banks of the Wishkaw. No, this is not a gift shop. No, Kurt didn't live here. Needles and stuff, watch out. Yes, we have lots of traffic. Yes, we get tired of it. If you think there's trouble, you call 911. Please don't steal our stuff. I like these guys. Gotta love that left-handed guitar statue here. Super cool. I can definitely appreciate the humor of the air guitar here. So cool. Having spent most of his youth beneath this bridge, Kurt drew inspiration for his music from these surroundings especially in the song Something in the Way. It recalls his experience underneath this bridge. Underneath the bridge Top has sprung a leak And the animals have trapped Ball become my pets And I dig them off of grass and the drippings from the ceiling It's okay to eat fish Cause they don't have any feelings Something in the way
just off the corner of State Avenue and Pear Street in Olympia, Washington. This is the house Kurt moved into with his girlfriend Tracy Miranda in 1989. This is where he would write 75% of his songs. One of the songs about a girl from the Bleach album was written about his girlfriend Tracy. When Nirvana got their fifth drummer, Dave Gruel, he lived here for about eight months too, sleeping on a couch which was half of his size, next to Kurt's turtles banging their heads up against the glass all night. In Dave Gruel's band, The Foo Fighters, he documented the eight months that he spent in this house in the song, Friend of a Friend. Gotta love the Wicked Witch feet sticking out of the ground there. This is also where, as a joke, Kathleen Hanna of Bikini Kill graffitied on the wall, Kurt smells like teen spirit. Kurt had no idea it was a reference to deodorant, he just liked the way it sounded. Which of course went on to become one of the biggest rock songs in history. And it all happened right in there. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 